Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Secretary, welcome. It's good to see you. Thank good you. to see you. Um, I appreciate your testimony and uh, had a few questions and, and hope that, uh, that you could clarify some things uh, in the governor's budget. Uh, uh, we know that the governor's proposed a, an overall spending plan that spends billions of dollars over last year's, uh, uh, last year's budget. Your general operating line item is, is proposed to increase around $3 million. And I'd hope that you could explain exactly what that would be used for um, um, in, in this year's budget proposal. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Uh, the, the $3 million increase in GGO is uh, specifically to address um, an issue that arose in the department with the use of special and restricted funds uh, that was identified by the Auditor General uh, in the, uh, uh, the, the uh, $3 million sort of represents the increase to um, correspond to the decrease expected, uh, expected uh, use of uh, those special and restricted funds. So no increase in complement, but does take uh, corrective action to address the Auditor General's finding in the department. Uh, and that will be um, uh, uh, you know, good for the uh, special funds, particularly dog law and the uh, horse, race, uh, horse racing uh, fund. Um, but there's no increase in complement with that. So it's a trade between GGO dollars and restricted funds. And to, to sort of piece this together um, with the increase the governor's proposing in, in your GGO and a, a, a decrease for the department altogether, you know, altogether of, of uh, 3.3 million, some of the things uh, decreased or eliminated, agricultural excellence, $1.1 million, agricultural research, $800,000, agricultural promotion, education, exports, 250,000, Something that's very important in my district, hardwoods research and promotion eliminated, $350,000. Um, the livestock show, 177,000. The open dairy show, 177,000. Food marketing and research, nearly 500,000. Can you, can you piece that together, exactly what those cuts mean and what your thoughts are on, on the uh, proposals? Was that, was that something that came from the Department of Agriculture to the, the governor's budget office? Or, uh, or, or is that not, uh, or was, is that coming from the governor's office itself? Well, let, let me, um, I, I think the list that you have identified sort of gets them all, right? All of those that are uh, at least in, um, uh, zeroed out in this proposed budget. Um, you know, th there were a lot of conversations, of course, uh, but given, given the uh, short time to, to put a budget together, it didn't allow for sort of substantive conversations about all of those items. Uh, certainly, uh, this budget is about some hard choices. Uh, that we've had to make, um, certainly as a commonwealth and, and to extend uh, to, to the department as well. Um, the, the aligned items uh, identified are uh, in, important components of the department, different things um, are funded in those aligned items, uh, as you well know, from research to promotion. They allow for uh, a lot of the, the industry engagement in, in, in the department. So uh, without those dollars, certainly that will change uh, what we can do um, uh, in terms of research, in terms of promotion, uh, and we'll have to sort of manage our way through that. Uh, I, I would say, though, uh, as I mentioned in the opening uh, testimony, that for all of those uh, industry sectors that are identified and certainly uh, by line item, but, but uh, more importantly for the department's sort of partnership, um, the ability to uh, access sort of the uh, uh, economic development resources or workforce development resources um, is really critical. Um, so there'll be trade-offs, uh, certainly at the line item level, but uh, we're hopeful that in the aggregate that that is an, a benefit to agriculture to finally have access to some economic development resources. Uh, when we uh, operated the Small Business First um, some years ago, you know, we had $120 million available to us. Uh, that 120 was the yeast that helped to raise the private capital uh, that ultimately raised 400, $450 million of private investment in agriculture. That was really critical. So you end up with a $600 million investment. Uh, so with DCED's resources that, that uh, uh, recharged the PIDA, uh, I would envision that type of exchange uh, and engagement with the ag industry again. I appreciate that. I, I think it's something we have to, we have to look at because uh, I've always been a person that thought, 
you should look at the previous year's budget and what's being funded in that budget before you make reductions in those lines and then increase other lines. So I think we have to take a look at those things that we've cut and uh, certainly look forward to working with you um, to uh, uh, take a look at those lines as we move forward with the final product. Yeah. So thank Appreciate you, Mr. That. Chairman. Thank you.